Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, we're talking mineral sunscreens, and I want to answer a question that you guys throw at me an awful lot, which is why you don't see more mineral sunscreen recommendations here on the channel. Is this something you should know? Well, in truth, absolutely not. Mineral sunscreens, chemical sunscreens, they all deliver really great protection. It all comes down to individual choice. However, there's a couple of reasons that I personally don't reach for mineral sunscreens as like my go-to in my skincare routine, and that's what I want to cover in today's video. For me, it's all about giving you the information you need to make the right decisions when it comes to your own skincare needs, whatever they happen to be, and that's just part of the journey. So sit back, relax, let's talk mineral sunscreens. Now, before we get into this video, I would love to know what your personal sun protection product of choice is. So sound off with any recommendations in the comment section below and let me know, are you like mineral or are you chemical? I might put a poll up here on YouTube so we can see what the exact split is. I want to reiterate the point that neither chemical nor mineral sunscreens are going to be for everyone. It's all about finding your perfect pairing and the right match for you. The important thing is that you're using a sunscreen. UV radiation is one of the biggest causes of cancers and also so premature aging, neither of which we want in our skincare life. So whatever your choice of sunscreen, just make sure you're applying it as per the manufacturer's instructions and that you find one that works with your skin type so that it's actually a pleasure to use. So mineral sunscreens. Now these are significantly different and I think easier to understand than their chemical equivalents. Whilst there are so many different chemical UV filters, there are just two when it comes to your mineral choices, zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. Both of these have the same great benefits that you can find from chemical UV filters, but they work in a subtly different way. There's a bit of a myth out there that mineral UV filters sort of like provide a shield and block that UV light from hitting the skin, whereas chemical filters absorb it. Actually, what the studies have shown is that chemical or mineral, both of them work by absorbing that UV ray before they can actually do any damage to our skin. There is some element of like a shield protection from mineral sunscreens, but it's actually not the key and main way that they actually work. There are lots of different choices on the market, and I think both chemical and mineral sunscreens come at different price points. So when you're looking to choose the right one for your individual skincare routine, have base it on three factors. First up, your skin type. What form of sun protection works best for you? Secondly, your skin tone. All of our skin tones are different, unique, and it's all part of what makes us fabulous. But you will find that different forms of UV protection will work better on different skin tones. Sometimes mineral ones can leave a bit of an ashiness, a bit of a cast on the skin. That's not always the case, but I think a lot of people with a deeper, darker, and richer skin tone find chemical sunscreens just lay better on their skin. It doesn't disrupt the overall tone and hue of the complexion. And third, Third, it comes to budget. Make sure whatever sunscreen you choose meets your individual budgetary needs because there's nothing worse than scrimping and saving on the amount of product you apply just so that you're mindful you don't have to buy it as frequently. You should be using the right amount of sun protection so choosing one that is within your budget is like a key part of meeting that. So with all that being said, let's talk about why you don't see a lot of mineral sunscreen recommendations here on the channel and why I don't reach them for my own skincare routine. First up is availability. Here in the UK, and I think this is the same for most of Europe, we just don't have the choice in the market when it comes to mineral sunscreens. This is all led from the regulations that govern the use of filters within these sunscreens. In the US, there is much more a restrictive pool of UV filters that brands are actually allowed to formulate with. This means that a lot of brands choose mineral filters just is an easy way to approach this and a lot more research and development goes into those mineral filters whereas here in the UK and Europe where there is a much wider range of chemical filters acceptable for use in sunscreens brands just say actually these are easier to formulate with and we'd rather direct our research and development into the chemical sunscreen market. As a result if you go into your average drugstore here in the UK you will probably only have like five or six different mineral sunscreens actually to choose from. Obviously this depends shop to shop but I do think we have a much more restrictive pool of availability, which is one of the main reasons I don't reach for them. If you're living in the US, you probably have a much wider range of different finishes to mineral sunscreens, different consistencies, some of them have added skincare benefits, so that choice I think lends itself to a bigger market for mineral sunscreens, but here in the UK, the actual percentage of sales that go to mineral sunscreens are minuscule when you compare and contrast it to the chemical equivalents, which is one of the primary reasons I don't feature them as frequently here on the channel, we just don't have the choice. Second up, I don't find that my skin works well with mineral UV filters. This is where I say you need to match the product that you choose to your individual skin type and what you're looking to get from it. I find my skin is particularly oily and acne prone and a lot of people say that zinc oxide and titanium dioxide can work really well with that individual skin type. 
not on mine. I find that it leads to a lot of irritation and itching on my specific skin. And I find that the, still, whatever product I choose, it leaves like a film, an ashiness or a white cast, which can be a little bit difficult to shift when you're doing your evening cleanse. I tend to find that with mineral sunscreens, I have to rub a lot harder to remove them. And that can lead to irritation and kind of exacerbate some of the acne breakouts I'm experiencing. I don't have these issues with chemical sunscreens. And I feel, again, going back to point number one, there's just a wider range of chemical sunscreens available to us here in the UK. So I can kind of, through trial and error, work out which is the best compa and most compatible for my very oily skin type. The third reason is I've done a lot of research into the various levels of UVA protection that you get from different filters. So UVA is the rays that hit our skin and cause premature aging. They can also cause cellular damage and cancers down the line. And I think often we focus on the SPF value of a sunscreen, which is given the indicative value of protection against UVB radiation. And we forget about these UVA rays, which are just as important to protect against. Now, different filters give different protection levels against UVA radiation. And whilst you will absolutely get protection against UVA radiation from mineral sunscreens, zinc oxide and titanium dioxide, studies have started to show that you don't get that breadth and broad spectrum protection that maybe you do from a mixture of different chemical filters. No chemical filter in isolation will give you the breadth of protection you need, but by mixing and formulating together, you can kind of achieve that without having to have some of the drawbacks that you can get from mineral sunscreens. I just found that I've been able to get a higher level of UVA protection from chemical sunscreens that I could find in the equivalent mineral sunscreen, which is again, another reason that I tend to reach for them more and more frequently. Finally, let's talk hybrid sunscreens. This is kind of the best of both worlds, where you get an element of chemical UV filters and mineral UV filters, all formulated together in a sunscreen. Now, I've got some great results from hybrid sunscreens because I feel, like I say, best of both worlds. You minimize the risk of any ashiness or white cast on the skin because you're lowering the amount of uh, mineral filters that are actually needed in the product. You also can get a more broad spectrum UVA coverage by mixing the right number of chemical filters. And together, I just think you get a really nice experience. It also benefits people that might want to cut down on the total amount of chemical filters in their products because again you mix and match them with those mineral ones. This for me is where I think the future lies with sunscreens and I'm going to be experimenting a lot more with hybrid sunscreens so be prepared to see a lot more coverage of them here on the channel. I want to go back to the original point I said at the start of this video. It doesn't really matter what style of sunscreen you choose as long as you're using it and reapplying as required. Make sure you kind of explore the sunscreen market and find the right formulation that works for your individual skin's needs, your budget and what you're looking to get out of the product. A lot of people will say that mineral sunscreens have benefits such as they're less likely to cause irritation particularly around the eyes and this is definitely something. If you have a very sensitive skin type you might find it works better having a mineral sunscreen in your routine than a chemical one. Make sure that whatever one you choose, you don't listen to some of the demonizing that goes on in the world where some people say that mineral sunscreens are rubbish, you don't want to go anywhere near them. They're not. They give the same level of protection in terms of that SPF value that the equivalent in the chemical world will. Similarly, a lot of people say you don't want to go near chemical sunscreens, they're so bad for the body. Again, if you do the research, there's no concrete evidence that that's the case. It's all about making the right informed decision for your own skin's needs and skincare routine. And hopefully this video has just formed part of that. I'm going to do a dedicated video to some of my favorite favorite mineral based sunscreens that's going to come in the next week so look out for that because whilst I don't reach for them day in day out I definitely know a lot of you guys out there do and would appreciate the recommendations wherever you are in the world guys stay safe stay well I love your skin take care bye